welcome to another LEGO video. Today I am going to be showing you the um, LEGO set 75951. This LEGO set is called Grindelwald's Escape. It's a Fantastic Beast set or a Harry Potter set depending on how you view it because Fantastic Beasts and Harry Potter both have separate places on the LEGO website, however all the Fantastic Beasts sets are listed under the Harry Potter stuff. The Wizarding World banner is the only banner that appears on all the sets. If I just get this one here, you'll notice that both of them have the Wizarding World banner on them. So, having got that bit out of the way, which is a little bit confusing, I'm going to move the figures out of the way because I will show you them later on in the video. And we're going to start with the Thestral because that's the most interesting piece of this entire set. So, basically, the Thestral has three new pieces and... About six other pieces that have been around for an awfully long time. So the Thestral itself is one big horse piece, which is one of the few completely unique horse pieces. In fact, there's only two completely unique horse pieces ever for Harry Potter that I've known of, that I know of. One was for Buckbeak, um, who, and the other one's for this Thestral. Now this set. Because it is a theft, because it has a Thestral in it and it has a um, carriage, it could actually be for the Harry Potter line because in the Harry Potter line there are um, in the Harry Potter books it does talk about carriages that are like this. Um, the two wing pieces are each unique pieces but from the same mould because each piece has an injected, um, has two injected plastics, which mean you won't get the same every single time. But that's an extra charm about this set and makes some collectors particularly annoyed because to get one of every single piece, they would have to buy one of every single one of these pieces ever made. So that's one of the reasons why they have to stop themselves. And the reason why none of these sets are going to be exactly the same. So next we'll go on to the carriage. And here is a recurring theme of um, new pieces or new colours for pieces. So um, here we've got those new plant pieces in black. They're not new. They're from 2017. They're, they're really late 2016. So they're over a year old now. But we're still calling them new because they're a completely new idea. And we've had leaf pieces and stem pieces before, but this is one whole plant in one piece, which is smaller than any of the other whole plant pieces. Anyway, we also get these wheels in gunmetal grey, which I think is the first time we've ever got them. So this is actually the only set we can get these in black and these in gunmetal grey, and this in gunmetal grey. Um, the actual carriage itself. Um, bears resemblance to all Lego carriages, which kind of makes sense. The only other theme to have any carriages, though, is actually Disney princesses, and I'm not even sure if there is a carriage made by Lego at the moment that has in that set in the, that theme anyway. So I think this might actually be the only way to get a carriage at the moment. So that way, it's good for anyone's medieval layout. Um, if they have one. Um, this is just ordinary train doors in black without the window pieces and this will hinge because it's just a hinge. Um, in, inside it's got red seating and a little place to put I don't know, drinks and this bit, the only, this is actually the only nick to the set is the fact it does have this in red. But, to be honest, that doesn't really matter, because you can't see it unless you take it off. The back, I'm guessing that's for luggage, which is what these would normally be. And the coachman, or the coach driver, would sit here. 
and because this moves very easily, it it's particularly easy for play because you can just clip up your festival and you're away to go. And you can literally you can just pull the whole thing from the festival itself. So now we've got the actual build out of the way, let's go on to the figures. Now I can never remember who that's called. It does say on the box. But I haven't got the box with me, I've only got the instructions for reference. So, I have, obviously I got it from a box, but I didn't bring them up to my filming area, which isn't in my Lego room. So, this particular, we're going to start with, she's the American Minister for Magic, basically. Uh, I'm going to go for the Grindelwald second, because he's particularly interesting. So, we'll go back to him later. So, she, I believe, is the only figure to have this dress piece unprinted. And I believe she's also the only one to have it in this particular shade of blue. I think Dumbledore's the only other one to have it in blue at all. Um, yeah, so that's pretty good. She's also got this new mould, which... Uh, new... not new mould, new print, which shows a coat, a scarf, and a... Why is this all getting so much red hair? And a um, print for her breasts. And you can see it going down. You can see they've blacked out um, waistline. She's also the only figure to have this hat, um, fast food hat. This hat that was designed for fast food uh, minifigures working in fast food restaurants uh, in sand blue. And that really, really works. It looks very posh, which is what it's meant to. And she's also the only figure to have a purple wand which is quite special. Um, the wands do come in pairs of two, so if you buy this set, you get two of that. Um, she also has a new face print, which shows her hair coming down the sides. Um, face with lipstick. Why does they always give every, nearly every single female figure lipstick? Um, eyebrows, in sort of grimace, and smiling eyes. So, oh yeah, the other thing is, is she does have this um, thing which until now has only been in superheroes so it's kind of interesting let's see if I can actually get it to work there so yeah that's pretty good um, that's I assume to show her casting a spell now this Grindelwald there's actually there's only um, one variant of her there are two variants of this Grindelwald and this particular Grindelwald isn't all that expensive, I think he's five quid, whereas the only other Grindelwald ever is 25, and you can still get him. So that's a very good figure to have for investment. I'd say by the time they stop making that figure, he'll be 80, he'll be at least 80 quid. So almost as expensive as Bellatrix the Strange, which is one of the, which is the third most expensive Lego minifigure for. Harry Potter. Not the third most expensive Lego minifigure ever. No way. But the third most expensive Harry Potter figure. Figure made for Harry Potter line. Anyway, so I'll show you that in another video. But I just thought I'd... Actually, I will show you something else, which is... His robes are really, really good. Um, whereas his... They'd look better on Lupin, to be honest. They're incredibly badly done. They look really, really tatty. It's a little bit like they had two variants for Lupin and they decided, well, we prefer this variant of Lupin because it looks less dated to the 20s. But who should we put it on? Because we spent all this time thinking, oh, yeah, we need to make um, Percival Graves Grindelwald um, exclusive. So we should to the Fantastic Beast series so we should make a different so we've got to make a different um, torso print and um, so looks a bit like they've just done that obviously it's probably not what they've done but that is the kind of air this gives um, I think he might have a secondary face print actually yes he does so he has a bit more of an open face on the back he does actually have almost exactly the same back print 
that the other Percival Graves has. Sorry, the other Grindelwald has. Um, but the other Grindelwald has a blue scarf. Um, and then on the other side, there's a much more vacant expression. But yeah, he is a good figure, and he's got leg printing, unlike um, the American uh, Minister of Magic. And we might as well just launch this one anyway. Um, yes, yeah, so that's set 75951, Grindelwald's Escape. Thank you for watching. This has been Mouse Briggs. Goodbye.